recently sued Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000 not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. You can hang ten or dive for pearls. The local government won't let you keep anything you find. But it's just good, clean fun to hold your breath till your lungs almost burst and then get the bends from coming up too fast. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore... Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Substitute, here's a tip. All you need to make this into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is. And that boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula. A wiki, 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 wiki. Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. <laughs> Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The Tropical and Tropical, implementing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist?
Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole Lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> That singing out there. It's called the legend of Rockabye Point. This all started aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish, so do little penguins.
my baby on a treetop at the middle of the cradle of rock. When they were buried, the blood will fall, and I woke up baby a cradle of all. Well, that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. It's the cradle we'll fall, and down we'll come be. Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? All righty. Oh, rock a baby in a treetop. Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat by-product. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice. Playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of. Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course. <laughs> My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl. is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. 
And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Oh, uh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <coughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, banana flaming And now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on channel one and ends on channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over.
Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand? But Captain, sir. <laughs> Listen here, you may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! That critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But Captain, sir. <laughs> Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? No, you don't, you freeloading feedbag. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy. I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know I'm being demoted to anchor. <laughs> 